Welcome Capricorn to your bonus love reading. Hope everybody is doing well. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. Oh, this is beautiful. We have the Spirit of Cups, the Hierophant, the Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so there's new beginnings within love, within passion. I feel that you are looking or feeling pretty good. Um, the Hierophant is all about spiritual spirituality and wisdom, okay? So I do feel is that you're on a very spiritual path right now. And as you're on this path, there's new beginnings coming in for you, okay? So we have two aces coming into the reading with the three of swords because you're recovering. This is this isn't a good time. Okay. I, this healing, this process with the three of swords, this is a lot of betrayal and sadness. And it took a lot of time and energy uh, to start healing, even to start healing from the situation. Okay. So I do feel like a lot of you guys are releasing somebody here are releasing a situation as new beginnings are occurring for you. This is really beautiful. I love this. And it came up upright. Okay, so we have the Three of Cups, the Magician, the Four of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. Five of Wands, Eight of Cups. There could have been a fight or an argument or something because this person is manifesting an argument. And the reason why they're manifesting this argument is because you either walked away or there was emotional detachment in the past, okay? Because it is still coming up, but it doesn't mean new things are not going to show up here. Um, I do see someone feeling left out in the cold, yes, and I do see this chapter closing. So very, very cool. I love this reading, you guys. I really do. There may be um, a feeling of an apology, but someone, or light communication, but things may not have changed due to that communication, um, but we do have you closing out a very successful chapter and I feel it's because you're wanting a new beginning, you're wanting a new start and that is what's coming up for you guys. Okay. Sorry about that. So let's go ahead and clarify because we do have an offer, an overwhelming feeling here. Possibly you dealt with a Knight of Wands energy, someone who is, you know, not commitment type, played around a lot. And I, and I see here with the Ten of Pentacles, there's like a feeling of non-committal. You know, it was hard to have long-term vision with this person or long-term with this person. I do feel that someone is very unsatisfied, though, with their love life or with their life in general. And I feel that you had to do what's best for you regardless of how this person feels, okay? So, yeah, because there is a feeling of feeling left out in the cold. Um, and then we do have the world just just closing it just like no nope, I'm not gonna deal with that crap anymore and that's really huge to do to have the world upright okay let's see the magician this is in, supposed to be in the person's energy so it is a past person okay you could have sparked things up or someone from the okay so I'm getting this someone from the past could be sparking things up again with you that's for some um or there could be a new passionate beginning that feels like soulmate connection, like feels like something that is very familiar. Yeah, because the Queen of Cups, it's like an emotional um, feeling, you know, high emotions here. And I feel like this is the person, whoever's manifesting this connection. Somebody's manifesting a soulmate here. Yeah, you're seeing freaking clear as day with the Seven of Cups. Could be a third-party situation. It was hard at first to, I feel, to accept, yes. But with the death in reverse, someone was resisting change. It's like you're no longer seeing things going anywhere with this energy. And I feel like you're just seeing clearly because, again, if things were stagnant, somebody could have been repeating, you know, past behaviors or the same stuff over and over again, okay? Okay. Let's go ahead and get the uh, Four of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Someone's feeling very impatient. And then we do have the Ten of Pentacles here. Yeah, see? It was an imbalance. And the challenge was, is this person, I feel like you invested into this person. 
but you didn't feel satisfied. And now that you're out of their life, they don't feel satisfied. But um, I see them, you know, very, again, uncommittal. Someone who really hurt you here, broke your heart. The situation I feel, I feel just broke your heart. But we do have the temperance coming in in the reverse, which is basically saying there's a feeling of imbalance, okay? And there's a need for patience and to do things in, moder in moderation in the past. Um, so there could have been a lot of a feeling of, you know, an impatient here. Like maybe feeling like you were wasting your time or felt like not knowing where this is going, okay, in a way. Yep, see, there's still this. There's still the Four of Soul of Cups with the Knight of Cups. So they're manifesting this challenge, this competition, or this um, fight, argument, or the tension. They're manifesting it. And the reason why is because of the Eight of Cups. So let's clarify the Eight of Cups. They seem very, very unhappy. Yeah, it's like they didn't want you to lose faith within the connection. But I feel like you, you have no, I feel like you're not really seeing anything with this person anymore. So with the Nine of Wands, it's basically saying that there was a lot of current setbacks. Um, you might think that they're failures in the past, but it's not allowing a situation to disrupt your future because you will become successful. And that's what you, you're, it's like not settling for less here. You know, not settling for breadcrumbs. It's you believing that you are going to find what you want in a connection. Okay. And that not letting this situation hold you back from finding your love in that passionate new beginning and that spark again. And I feel you're on this journey. All of these opportunities are opening up for you or already has opened up for you here. But I feel like it's just, there's a lot of growth and a lot of things you're learning about yourself as you're going down this journey, for sure. No doubt about that. All right. There could have been a lot of self-doubt, a lot of self-blame with, blame with the strength card in reverse. Okay, maybe not seeing things at first. Or, you know, with the two of swords, it's very stagnant energy. Feeling left out in the cold. And I feel you're just having some spiritual awakening here. It doesn't really have that growth that you do, I feel, or the want. So yeah, I do feel like you are closing out this chapter because unsatisfying. And then we do have the Queen of, of Swords in the reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, I'm going to say this because the King of Swords, I feel, is an energy that can be a bit calculated and also very selfish. And I feel, yes, it, they could be emotionally or not emotionally, um, they could be manipulative here, okay? Strategic. So I do see is that you're just unsatisfied by whatever this person is giving to you because it doesn't feel emotionally like genuine or something that it's like you're looking at them now as maybe the king of swords, not feeling that connection as may you may have once felt. Okay, but it does look like a message may be coming in or something here that may, you know, be the reason why the chapter is closing or some type of realization because I'm telling you, you have something new coming in. The Ace of Wands is all about new beginnings. It, it's exciting. It's passionate. It's a, a lot of flirtation here. And the Spirit of Cups is saying there's new romance coming in, new friendships, next level connections deep connections, intimacy. So let's see. Let's see. Let's get new. We could see what this person has to say. We can see. Let's see what this person has to say first. And then we'll see. Get more of a new energy that's coming in. And you're really healing or working on a lot of healing here on yourself. Or This is a Capricorn who has really worked on themselves honest with yourself and you could only go up from here this is like seeing your part their part everyone's part <laughs> on what the situation happened so this person is wondering how you feel 
I daydream about a life with you. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's too many cards. Sorry about that, guys. I'm starting to understand our connection. I wish we could go back. I have trouble with intimacy and you came closer than anyone. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what they're not telling you. We'll just pick a couple cards from here. We have listen. I'm telling you the truth. You can trust my words. It's like somebody wants you to believe something and it says, I will be writing you a message. That could be that page of cups. You deserve better than me. I'm afraid of commitment, but they want to work things out. Let's get one more. You've been thinking about me because I've been thinking about you. I feel so empty without you and jealous and possessive. Oh, this person could be jealous that there's other energies that you're going to be dealing with. Oh, they think that you're dealing with other energies for sure. All right, so let's get the messages of love and see if anything new is coming in for you. Also, we'll go ahead and grab some advice and clarity from Spirit. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Now, that's crazy because I feel like that's that person. Okay, you are obsessively on their mind. Because they're so unsatisfied just with life, with everything that's going on. And you and how you're coming up so spiritually wise and, very, you know, even with a lot of wisdom and experience with life. It's like you guys, like this person admired that about you. And now it's like, without that, it's life's a bit boring. This person does want a second chance. This could be a second chance situation. And then, but you already learned the lesson. Okay. And it's trying something you've never done before. And that's where I feel. You are closing out this chapter. This person does want a second chance. I'm sure you can open this door back up if you want. Uh, but as for them giving you what you deserve, I don't see that. But I don't feel like you have. Um, I feel like you could get back with this person or talk to this person, but you're, I feel like you're choosing not to because they're no longer a desire. And it does feel like you're thinking of this as a waste of time for some. Okay. And you've already learned the lessons, which is bringing in new passion and bringing in, and look at, we even have support lean on your inner circle. Oh my gosh. Look at this new love, new love or recommitment to love is developing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it has uh, lean on your inner circles. You got friends and family that supports you through this are just talking to you about things. And then we do have passion. Try something you've never done before. Well, I like that a lot. Okay, let's go ahead and um, pick some cards. This one says change your mindset. Detach from the drama. You need to be flexible, whatever that may be to you. Follow the heart instead of the mind. Follow the heart instead of the mind. Be receptive when the path opens. Ah, I do feel like something's coming in. I'm not lying. It's right here. Okay, you just got to believe it. Got to see it, right? Got to see it. It's going to come in. Whatever this is. If it hasn't already, you guys could be talking to some people. I don't know. But there is like something really interesting. Like there's, I mean, you got two aces, which is all about, again, new beginnings in your life. Okay. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change. That which is beyond our control. I'm going to leave it here for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed your bonus reading. Um, and if you did, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out 
your readings for December, mid-December. I also have singles out and um, I will be trying to get another collective out for you guys. Okay. I'll see you guys very soon. God bless.